What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is another episode of Fan Friday. And if you don't know, Fan Friday is where I let you, the fans, vote on what deck I should play for. And today's winner was the Nine Tails Among Us Hound Doom deck or Hound Doom Prime deck for the Legacy format. And let's go over and let's see what's it about. So, our real attacker, our main attacker, is going to be this Nine Tails. With the Hex Flame attack, this does 50 more damage to each special condition that's affecting the defending Pokemon. So, if there's one special condition, it does 50. If there's two, it does 100. If there's three, it does 150. And if there's four, well, you do 100 and, uh, you do one, uh, 200? 200? Um, I'm trying to think, but I don't think you can be affected by four conditions. I think the max is only three because of poison. Uh, you only have poison. And burn on you, and then you can only be turned one way. So you can be turned this way, you can put sleep, confuse, or paralyze. So you max you do is 150. Uh, but Hex Flame plus 20 more damage. So you can do 150 plus 20, which is great. And that's what we're gonna try to do today to try to take knockout on Pokemon. Um, I know it's a little bit confusing, but don't worry, I'll go over here in a second how it's all going to work. Alright, so remember Hex Flame 50 damage or 20 plus 50 more damage for each special condition affecting the defending Pokemon. Alright, so how we're gonna affect the defending Pokemon is gonna be through Amoongus. Amoongus says, Spore Prize, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may use this ability. If you do, your opponent's active Pokemon is now Confused and Poison. So, Auto Confuse and Auto Poison, which is two of the conditions that we can do. So, that's uh, 5, 10. Alright, so that's 100 right there. Uh, plus a 20, 120. And I'll go over a second how you can do even more damage. And we have the Hound Doom Prime with the Fire Breath. Once turn to turn, before you attack, you may flip a coin. If heads, the defending Pokemon is now Burn, this power can't be used with Houndoom as affected by a special condition. Now, since it's a poker power, it actually can get around Garbodor, which is very nice. And you'll see in the video what I am talking about. Now, the Houndoom has the roar. Your opponent switches the defending Pokemon. Uh, your opponent, yeah, switches your, your opponent switches their defending Pokemon with his or her bench Pokemon. Okay. Uh, the Fungus has find a friend, search check for Pokemon reveal it and put it in your hand. And we have Pichu, which Pichu could be MVP because you can use Playground for no energy to fill your bench up, basically what it says. So each player may search his or her deck for as many base Pokemon as she, he or she like, put them onto their bench and shuffle their deck afterwards. Pichu is now asleep, but while Pichu is asleep, it cannot be, be damaged by your opponent's attack. See, as long as Pichu is asleep, prevent all damage done to Pichu by attacks, which is amazing. So, we can use Pichu to maybe get out like two Vulpix, two Fungus, and one Houndor. You only do one Houndor because, you know, Fire Breath, you just keep doing it over and over again. But Fungus, Amoongus, you have to put it down, which is the reason why we need to play maybe two or three on the field at a time. And then, of course, Nine Tails because it's our main attacker. So, that's all the Pokemon here. It is 18. It is a lot. But, I mean, this is probably the best way. Now, if you don't have Peach, you can easily cut it and play something else. Now play three Devolution Spray, so you devolve, you devolve one of your evolve Pokemon, put it to your hand, or put the highest stage Evolution card in your hand, and that Pokemon can't evolve. So that way you can use Amoongus over and over again. You get Amoongus and put the Amoongus on a different Amoongus, maybe uh, Devolution Spray, have the Amoongus in your hand for next turn. And also, one thing I forgot about Ninetales is Ninetales does have this bright look ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand, to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may switch one of your opponent's bitch Pokemon with his or her act Pokemon. So it's basically like a Lysander, but you can use it over and over again because it's ability. And you can like Devilish Spray Ninetales to reuse it again if needed. But you can bring up Ninetales, bring somebody up, then use the Amoongus to take a knockout that way, which is pretty nice. Now we play two dual, two dual ball, uh, flip two coins for each head, search deck for a po basic Pokemon, show it to your opponent, and put it into your hand. If you do, shuffle your deck afterwards. So basically you can get any base Pokemon, which is great. Uh, three laser. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poison. Flip a coin of heads. Your opponent's active Pokemon is also asleep. So another way to, to do some more, uh, put some more counters on the field, okay? Or junk arm. You discard two cards from your hand. Search your discard pile for a trainer card. Show it to your opponent and put it back into your hand. You can't choose junk arm while th with the effect of this card. Now this can get you like laser, dual ball, love ball, rain receiver, uh, devil spray, super raw, uh, tool scrapper, uh, life do, and the silver bangle. Now of course we play four love ball because you search your deck for Pokemon with 90 HP or less, which gets you Houndor, Volpix, Nine Tails, and Moongus and uh, Moongus and Fungus and Pichu, which is great. Alright, so the only one we can't search out is a Houndu, but we'll find him. Don't worry, he'll come to us eventually. He'll hear the calling, and he'll just show up in our hand. So that's, I'm not really worried about that. And I really don't want to play Ultra Ball to discard cards out of our hand because everything is pretty much needed. Now we play one random receiver to flip cards over to we hit a supporter guard. And this is great because it's a uh, junk arm. 
If you discard the, the random receiver, you can junk arm for it back later. Uh, if you get a bad hand or something. Uh, one super rod to shuffle three combination Pokemon to introduce back into your deck. Uh, one tool scrapper to discard two two cards on the field, which is going to get rid of Garboder. Like I said, Houndoom Prime does get around Garboder, but unfortunately Amoongus does not because the Sport Prize is an ability. Alright, so two cores, three in, three Juniper, four for Oak. Alright, so we played four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven supporter cards with one receiver. I think it's fine. Uh, three Verbix CD Gem, so you're poisoned to do two more damage counters. Now you're gonna see, we're gonna see in a second how this starts working up and how you're gonna take knockouts. Uh, one Life Dew, which is our ace pick of choice. This could be Computer Surge, but we'll see why the video Life Dew is better. Uh, but Life Dew says if the Pokemon this card's attached to is knocked out, your opponent takes one for your prize card, which is very great. Uh, three Silver Bingle. So you do 30 more damage to your opponent's active EX Pokemon and 5 Fire Energies. So what we're going to try to do is use Ninetales, um, Hex Flame, alright? We're going to put down Amoongus, which can do 2 special conditions. So that's uh, 510, plus a 20, which is 120, right? Okay? Plus a Silver Wrangle, which is 150, plus the Verbeek City Gem, which is 180 damage. Because it does 2 more damage counters. So the Poison does 10, then plus a 2 more for this guy, or this Verbeek City Gem, which is 30. Uh, Silver Angle is 30. Double Special Condition is 50. So that's 160. And the plus the base 20 is 180 damage. And that's how we're going to take out Pokemon. Now, even then, you can still use Houndoom and do a ton of damage that way as well. You can be affected by three Special Conditions. Use... <laughs> Use Hex Flame for 180 or 1, uh, 170, and then Silver Ringer for 200 damage. So Night Tails can potentially do 200 damage in one turn if everything goes correctly as planned. Now, if you don't have a Moongus, you can still use Laser and try to uh, poison to sleep, and use Houndoom for the confu for the uh, uh, confusion, which is I mean for the burn. Sorry, not burn, not confusion for burn. Uh, okay, so uh, with Laser you can sleep, poison, and burn them. Which is another way to take a knockout if you are under lock, under, under Garboda lock. But you do have Toolscraper to help you around that. But guys, I've rambled a lot about this deck. You can see why this deck is a lot of fun. And let's see, does it work or not? Is there a lot of hype? And will it just flop and not do anything? We'll find out here today on Fan Friday. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go like the Facebook page so that we know what decks to vote for next week. I post it on Wednesday, so make sure you check that out. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and let's see the deck in action. All right, we're gonna get Zez three six three zits. What am I talking about? Uh, three six. They're playing a dragon in a colors deck, and I wonder what they are playing. Maybe a Garchomp deck. That's the only thing I can really think of. Uh, tells we will be going second. Uh, maybe we'll get that turn one Pichu. We get a bunch bunch of Pokemon on our field. So see what's gonna happen. All right, so Fungus, Fungus, double love ball, and uh. Outside of that, we don't have anything, so put down another Fungus, we'll press done, and uh, let's see what's going to happen. I mean, we will love ball once, okay, that's good. There's a Swabble, so yeah, it's definitely a Guard Chomp deck, so how do we take down a non-EX deck, the big question. So, Chiron, going to draw three cards, okay? Alright, came up on, oh, there's a Swabble coming down, but no Gabites yet. Okay, there's a love ball for the Gibble, sorry, for Gibble. I mean, or is Gibble Gabite? Yeah, it's Gibble, Gabite's the second stage, okay? And then Guard Chomp is the final evolution, so Gibble coming down the field. All right, Water Energy to the active, and we'll probably see a pass. Oh, to our turn, what do we get? There's a Fresh Oaks New Theory. So I'll play a Love Ball with this. We'll get a Vulpix. Um, we'll put down another Vulpix with the Love Ball. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll grab another Vulpix. So we have Houndor in there as well. So yeah, we'll grab another Vulpix. We'll put that guy down, and we'll Fresh Oaks New Theory. Get a new hand of six. Let's see what can we find with this Oak. All right, so there's a uh, putting the Vulpix down. Fire Energy on the uh, bench Vulpix, and we'll just end our turn on to our opponent's turn. And next turn, we can maybe junk arm, get out of love ball, get out of Mungus, or maybe a nine tails. We can't take a knockout next turn, but it is definitely gonna be a battle between nine tails versus this Garchomp deck. It can we constantly get this Mungus Fungus Wombo combo off? And actually, I think Garchomp has 130 HP, so we need to find um. <clears throat> We actually need to find a Verbing, which might be kind of hard, but there's a, a Gabite coming down. And the good thing about this is our opponent is going to use Dragon Call to search for more Dragon Pokemon. There's an Altaria, which gives this Dragon Pokemon 20 more, or they do 20 more damage, okay? Uh, Rainbow Energy going to that guy, which is great, because I think, like I said, Garchomp has 130. Uh, so with the Rainbow Energy, it's now 120. He's actually going to Oak. If I was my opponent, I probably would have used Dragon Call to get a Gibble out. Um, but he looks like he's okay. There's another Gibble coming down as well, okay? So three Gibbles online, there's a Dragon Call, maybe get another Gibble, maybe get a Gabite for the next turn, maybe a Garchomp if they have a rare can in their hand. And, but now Course is going to get us a ton of cards, which is great. Uh, so there's a Altair going to their hand, so we'll put them on the active. 
Why not? It will probably just be a pass onto our turn, so this Altair comes to Axabod. I doubt my opponent will trade and attack with this guy. Yeah, so on our turn, we get a Verbic City Jail. So put that down. We'll put a Silver Ring on one of our Vulpixes, and we'll coerce. Gonna get into a hand of eight. And let's see, what can we find? All right, so we can Dual Ball, maybe. Uh, but it only gives us two base Pokemon. We can... Okay. Hmm, this is actually not the greatest. Um, so we'll fire to G at Vulpix. Um, we'll dual ball, try to get us some Hound Doors, maybe. Uh, heads and a tails. Okay, with this, we'll grab a Hound Door. We'll put that down. And then I think we'll just pass for our turn. Let the Moongus get hit. I guess we could have find a friend to search for Pokemon to guarantee that of Nine Tails next turn. But we'll end our turn. I'll turn our opponent's turn. Okay. Uh, they're gonna draw a card and um, huh. How do we deal with this? Maybe we have, we have Life Dude next turn, which is great. So there's a Love Ball. Probably won't get another, probably a Swablu, I'd imagine. Uh, no, no, Gabite coming down, okay, with the, with the Drag Gall one more time. And now opponent will constantly Drag Gall. They're going to set up pretty easily. They're going to constantly get these out over and over again. And we are going to struggle just a little bit, I imagine. So Dragon Call going to get a Garchomp out. And I'm pretty sure it has 130. That's the key thing to note. Let's see, will it be 130 or not is my... Big question. Let's see what does this guy bite give my opponent? And there is a guard jump. All right. So my cut. Oh, 140. Perfect. Even even worse than I thought. So Dragon Call getting uh, probably another goodbye out, I imagine, because you could bite this guy. Goodbye, get another guard jump out. Maybe another gibble. So there's a gibble. Okay, so they're going to use gibble right now. Oh, uh, they already have. Wait, did they already use the other goodbye? Yeah, I think they already used both goodbyes. Um, okay. So we'll see Gibble come down. They have a guard chopper hand. Maka will knock us out to do 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that is, I think they're pretty sure it's going to knock out our 9 does over and over again. There's a rare candy to guard chop. Okay. And like I said, this guy has Maka for 60. And this one, he did not evolve the one with the rainbow energy on it. So there's a Juniper. Discard his hand. All 7 new guards. And uh, we're going to see what's going to happen. How is this war going to work? So here comes guard chop. All right. And we are going to, he's going to take a one shot on us. And we might take one shots on our opponent. So this is a fighter to the active. And we'll see Maka for 6, 8, 10. 100 damage, which will knock out our nine tails over and over again. And there is a, oh my goodness, a burn tower coming down. All right, so my cut for the knockout. All right, 100 damage. Uh, we will send in the Vulpix, and we're going to find out what's going to happen. Let's go, Vulpix. On our turn, what do we find? We find a Fighter G, so put on this guy. We will Life Do the active, and we will, of course, get nine new cards. All right, let's see what can we find with this. And all right, so we got a nine tails. Uh, we're gonna use Nine Tails, but not use Bright Look. Okay, so no, yeah, no Bright Look right now. I mean, we could bring out somebody to get an automatic knockout. We have the Moongus in here, but I'd rather not. I'd rather try to knock out the active. So we'll put down uh, a Fungus. We'll put down a Moongus. All right, and yes, we'll leave him Poison and Confused. We'll put down a Hound Doom. Okay, we will Love Ball for another. Uh, Nine Tails. Okay, that's great. We'll put that down on this guy. Uh, will Devolution Spray pick up that Moongus to put it back in their hand? So, no, we're not gonna, no, we're not gonna use that. We'll Devolution Spray pick up this guy. And we will use Houndoom. Let's see what Houndoom flip heads or tails. Come on, Houndoom. Fire breath and heads. Alright, so he is confused. Oh, I mean, he's already, he's burned as well. So there we go. And we will Hex Flame for the knockout. Alright, so there we go. Alright, so there we go. Taking a knockout. Alright. So, we'll go down to Fire Price cards. Uh, we're both at 5. Alright, there's another Vulpix coming in our hand. Uh, I don't, I mean, he could take a knockout this turn, but if he takes a knockout, we'll put down the other Moongus. Uh, probably put down the Night Tails. Hopefully, we'll flip Tails again, or heads again with the Houndoom. As long as we flip flipping heads, we'll take a knockout over and over again, or find a Verbic City Gym. Alright, so there's a, another uh, gib Gibble coming down. And this Life Dude is actually going to matter so much. So, Tails, uh, don't, oh, he used Burn Tower. Uh, once a journey to show maybe put a point of heads. Search deck for a discard pile for basic energy. That's actually really good. Um, if he takes a knockout this turn, we get another fighter G in our hand. There's a Garchomp coming down. And if he does not have a tool scrapper, he will not take a prize card with this. There's Garchomp coming down, okay. Or does my point of play catcher? That could be another thing as well. So another Dragon Call. Gonna get another Garchomp, I imagine. And it's just gonna be a battle here, guys. Who is gonna win? Alright, so there is a Garchomp going to their hand. Alrighty. And uh let's see. I put it's probably gonna evolve. Um there they go. Alright, so this guy has 130 HP, which luckily we do take a knockout with the Moongus, which is great, because the 510, okay, there's a mock cut for the knockout, uh, but we'll sit at this guy, put down a Moongus, and take a knockout, because Hexflame would do 50, uh, 
100 and then 20 and then plus poison is 130. So instead of nine tails, all right. On our turn, we get a fire energy. So put down Vulpix. We will random receiver. All right, so we get an oak, which is great. We'll put down a Mungus. Uh, yeah, we'll put down a Mungus. And yes, I would like to use that. Thank you. Uh, fighter G on two. Wait, we already, oh no, we haven't touched one yet. So fighter G there. Uh, burn tower. Heads, we can put a fighter G back into our deck. And we are going to Devolution Spray, pick up this Amoongus and Oak, get a new hand of six. All right, so let's go Professor Oak's Theory, and we'll draw a new hand of six. Let's see, what can we find? Hopefully we find some Junk Arms. Okay, there's a Junk Arm. Well, Junk Arm, uh, discard one and two. With this, we'll grab another Life Dew. And that way, opponent will not take another prize card with this. All right, there we go. Life Dew, we'll put it on the active. And, we'll, yeah, let's go over to Houndoom. Let's see if we can use another Fire Breath and a Talos time, but we'll take a knockout because of that poison. So let's go Hex Flame. For 120, then with the poison, 130, and that rainbow energy will knock out that guard jump. All right, so we'll go down to four price cards. And once again, if my opponent takes a knockout, they will not take a price card. So there's a love up on our hand. Uh, with this, we get another nine tails out, which is great. The chain just keeps on going, guys. It just keeps working. But will we run out of nine tails or not is a big question. Now, we got to find the super rod to shuffle those nine tails back into the deck and probably one fighter G. At least we have a life due, so my opponent will not take a price card. If they do it, knock us out this turn. And uh, guys, we are looking great right now. I was kind of nervous, but we're looking good right now. There's a dragon call for another Garchomp, most likely. Oh, is there another, is there, is a Garchomp prized? All right, nope, there's another Garchomp. All right, so all four Garchomps are out on the field. I don't know if we prized any of our nine tails. I didn't even look, really. Um, but, I mean, we still have lasers. We have Verbanks left to go. There's a Sky. Let's see what we're left point to get. Probably, maybe a Tool Scrap if they play that. That could be really good. It's so just Super Rod. All right, that's what they need. Uh, shelf back in three combination of Pokemon back into the deck. Or Pokemon Energies, okay. Oh, we got to find one as well, but he is not taking prize cards, which is the main thing to know. He is not taking a prize card. I mean, he's taking one prize card off that first uh, Fungus, which is okay with me. So, goodbye, Garchomp and a Gibble coming down into this hand. All right. And does he play a second Super Rod? So, one while I'm being shuffled in, tell us for the Burn Tower. And does not want to have an energy? If they don't have energy, that could be really bad, because obviously, they will not even take a knockout this turn. Oh, my goodness. Nope, there's a fi Fighting Energy to active. All righty. And let's see what else does my opponent have. Now, we have the Moongus. We got the Love Ball. There's a Tool Scrap. We can get rid of that Life Dew. All right, so my opponent will take a prize card this turn. Uh, they're going to get rid of the Life Dew and probably the Silver Ring, which we really don't care about too much. All right, so they're taking a knockout. Go down to four prize cards. We'll send out Vulpix, Love Ball, Ninetales, Moongus, uh, Houndoom, and we'll see if we can get it or not. This turn is a big question. All right. But we still have a lot out. So mock, mock up for the knockout, okay? Then go down to four prize cards. We'll send up Vulpix, and we'll keep the party going. So 2-2 two, two line in the discard pile. We have two left on the field. And we know what point has a 1-1-1 one, one, one Garchomp line left in his deck. All right, so let's see. We will send in the Vulpix. All right, on to our turn. We get a Dual Ball. Okay, Dual Ball is not really useful, so I'm just going to save it right now. We're going to play down a Moongus. Oh, 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 hold on, my internet's, my internet's freezing up. Hold on, wait for it, guys. Okay, there we go. All right, so, uh, yes, 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 please. I would like to poison and confuse him. Uh, we will love ball for a nine tails. All right, so both nine tails in here and the super rods in here as well, which is great. So grab the nine tails. We'll put that guy down. We will profess Oak's new theory. Uh, no, we will not break a Pokemon. And we'll profess Oak's new theory. Get a new hand of six. All right. And let's see, what can we find? And all right, there's a laser. Ooh. Okay, Houndoom. Don't let me down. Come on, Fire Breath. And it tells. All right, guys. Um, hmm. All right. So, I'm actually going to Junk Arm. Discard in and laser. Okay. Ugh. All right, so let's see. We're going to grab the Life Dew one more time. Yeah, I think the Life Dew is great right now. We'll grab the Life Dew. We'll put that on the active. And we'll go for the Hex Flame. It will not knock out our opponent. It will be 10 damage short. Oh, my goodness. It's 120 with the poison. 10 damage. Oh, my goodness. We have one We have one verbing in this card, pal. All right, so my opponent's turn. And they can retreat it, which is very annoying. But once again, they have not the Tool Scrap to actually discard that Life Dew. Okay. There's a Dragon Call. Going to get a Gibble out, maybe. They already, they already have a Garchomp with their hand. They get a retreat to this guy. Okay. So, there's a Gibble. All right. All right. So, we need to find the Super Rod Shelf back in a 1 1 1 line of Nine Tails back in your deck. Wait, we didn't even use uh, the Burn Tower last turn. That could be really great. 
Uh, but if I point of retreat, like, they'll have to retreat. There's no way they try to tackle this guy because they do. They get knocked out just because of poison. Uh, another gill hit in the field. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, we got to find that super rod, though. We got to find a super rod. I mean, if he attacks this guy and flip tails, I'll be so happy. I'll be so happy if that happens. Uh, there's another guard jump coming down, though. All right. So I imagine, like I said, he will retreat into that guard jump and take a knockout this turn. And it's going to be up to us to find a way to knock out this guy while Super Rod to get back some uh, some more guys in the field. But why did you go into this guy? Huh. That's very interesting. Like I said, if he flips Tails here and it's a heads, all right, he knocks it out right anyway. Oh, yeah, okay, that's not an attack. He's using Burnt Tower right now. All right, I thought he was attacking. Okay, so heads with the Burnt Tower. There's a fight as you go into his hand. Unless he has a... Okay, and a confusion is the Tails. Oh, my goodness. So he knocks himself out. He doesn't even retreat to attack with his Garchomp. Oh my goodness. So we'll go down three prize cards. That is amazing. There's a silver angle. We don't really care about that too much. And that is great, guys. So on to my opponent's turn. Let's see what will they do. And here comes Garchomp. We don't even have to use a Hex Flame on it. That is great. And a Vermic City Gym. All right, so let's use this guy first. Heads will put a Fighter G in their hand. We will put down a Moongus. We will go for the coin. I mean, yes, we will poison. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we'll Vermic City Gym. We will Devolution Spray and Amoongus. Um, whatever. We'll, we'll Houndoom, Fire Breath. We're trying to do as much damage as we can. Tells, okay. Uh, we'll put a Silver Ring on the Houndoom. And then we'll press Oaks the Theory, get a new hand of Sex. And we're looking for a, a Super Rod. And, okay, there's a Super Rod and a Dual Ball. So with the Super Rod, we will shuffle in one, two, three. All right. So three cards go in our hand. We are going to use Dual Ball to search for two. Volpix is hopefully a uh, heads and a tails. All right, so at least get one Volpix in our hand. We'll put that down on the bench and we'll go for a Hex Flame for the knockout. That Verbic City Jam will do some work. We'll put a Silver Ring on the Amoongus as well. We just make sure if he ends us, we have a way to get around this. We're going to Devilish Spray, pick up an Amoongus as well. That was almost a misplay by not doing that. And we'll go for the Hex Flame for the knockout. There we go, guys. So down to two price guards. Uh, that poison damage will knock out the active. All right, so we got into two. Uh, does my point have a rare candy or not? It's my question. That confusion tail flip was amazing. There's a jump card good in our hand, and there's a victory screen coming down. My opponent really is that cannot win this game. All right, guys, that was amazing. Like he would have sent the gibble, maybe if he didn't send the gibble, we could find the nine tails, bring out that gibble, take a knockout that way, and pretty much win the game from there because my opponent cannot continue that cycle. But guys, we'll see one more game with the nine tails, Houndoom, Amoongus deck, and can we get another win or not? Hopefully, we don't play against another ninety x deck. But even then, if we play against another ninety x deck, we keep junk armor for our our life duo over and over again. Hopefully, that will win this game, but we'll see what happens in the next game. All right, printing against Daniel Sun, 555 playing a psychic, something, something, so I can't remember. It was like psychic fighting still, it's something else. I can't remember. I want to say it was double fighting, but I know that's not right. Uh, tells we won the coin flip, be able to go first. All right, so yes, I would like to go first. And on our turn, let's see what do we have. All right, so no supporter card yet. We'll put down Vulpix, put down Fungus. Press done. And will my opponent start with somebody who has 30 HP? So, fighting in Prism. Huh. All right. Let's go to New Hand of 7. All right. And let's say they got into the Mulligans. They play Lasers. Okay. A Lost Mover is getting kind of scary. Because Lasers and Attack could knock out our Vulpix on the first turn. But at least right now, we're taking two Mulligan draws, which is great. Um, Maybe it's a Landorus deck. Now, if it's Landorus, we would have made a mistake by not putting Mr. Mine with the Bench Barrier. I can't remember what the exact name is, but it makes it where your bench Pokemon can't be hurt by attacks. So, draw two. There's a Hound Door. I guess we'll put that down. Press done. And will we top deck support a card or not? There's a Resh Ram. Okay. So. Um, I'm actually just going to pass. We'll put a, yeah, I'll put a Fire in the active, and it'll pass. And the reason I'm doing this is I don't want to attack my opponent with, like, Verbic Laser. Because an Outrage can knock us out next turn, uh, which we need to be careful of. Now, if my opponent still has... A laser, Verbic, we might still be in trouble. Bloodstone, there's a Verbic City Gem coming down. Uh, a Cabalion, okay. Uh, still, okay, okay. Juniper, okay, all right, all right, okay. And doesn't want to have a laser. There's a Trubbish coming down for the Garboder. Oh, my goodness. So, Flowstone got a Trubbish, but we have Tool Scrapper. Don't worry. Don't, I mean, I'm still worried. Don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely worried. All right, we got to find a supporter card, though, guys. Can we hit one or not? Rain Receiver, great. There's a Landorus, which I thought they played. All right, so in our turn, we get a... Okay, so we're going to Nine Tails. Now, oh my um, I'm going to Nine Tails. Yeah, we're going to bring up Cabalion. We're going to take a knockout this turn. We have to. Uh, so, yeah, we'll bring up the Cabalion. We can hit it for weakness. 
Uh, put down the Moongus. Okay. We'll save our lasers for later right now. So yeah, we'll confuse and poison it. And we'll go for the Hex Flame. It'll do like a ton of damage because he's weak to steal. All right, so 230 damage. We'll go down to four prize cards. And let's see, what do we get? Now, Garboder is definitely something scary. There's a Vervic City Gym and another Vervic City Gym. Reshiro coming up and on to our opponent's turn. Let's see what's going to happen. Now, they could go for a Hammerhead. There's another, okay, another Lander is coming down. And in. Right now, our hand was terrible. We didn't have anything. We weren't really going to do anything that turn. All right, so can we find a Tool Scrapper? There's a Love Ball. A Nine Tails, uh, which is useless right now. Uh, we can't even put down a Fungus this turn. We got to hit a Laser. All right, but can... Okay, so just a pass onto our turn. That is great. So we'll put down a Love Ball. With this, we'll grab a Vulpix. We'll put that down in the field. All right. So Vulpix, and we we'll use Professor Oaks there. Get a new hand of six. We don't use the end because our opponent really didn't play anything. All right. So um, we're going to Junk Arm. Discard... One and two. We're going to love ball. Now, I know it seems weird that we're doing this, but I really just want to random receive a discard pile, uh, which is the main thing. Uh, we're going to love ball. Put a Fungus in our hand. And what would this flip? If this flip his heads, we'll take a knock on this turn. If his tails, we will not take a knock on this turn. So, Hypnotoxic Laser is in heads or not into heads. All right. So, now we get Hex Flame for 130 damage. Or 120, then plus the poison, 150. But if we flip tails, we would have hit for 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we would have been 30 damage short. So, we got out of three price cards. There is a Life Dew. All right. So, here comes Trubbish. Oh, to my opponent's turn. And can they find a Garboder or not is the big question. Now, next turn, we have a Life Dew completely active. There's a Junk Arm. Go ahead and discard a Gold. Is that a Zekrom? Go ahead and discard a Zekrom and something else. Get a Flow Stone. Okay. Get a Flow Stone on a Landorus. And, and. So, go down to three prize guards while my opponent gets sex. And let's see what's going to happen. Let's see. Does he find a Garboder or not? But we get a Love Ball at Fighter G. So, we can at least hurt this Landorus if needed. All right, so this is Golden Ultra Ball, and this will probably get our Garboder to shut down our uh, shut down our, t our abilities. All right, so this Garboder. Wait, Garboder is not shut off. Wait, yeah, it does. Yeah. Don't talk to me. All right, so Garboder coming down. Uh, Hypnotoxic Laser. Will Ninetales go to sleep or not? And has it does go to sleep. All right. A retreat to Landers. Trubbish coming down, and a pass for 30. All right, and heads, we do wake up. That is fantastic. Still on our turn. We get a Juniper, which is a great top deck. So we'll put a, play a Love Ball. We'll get another Vulpix. We'll put that guy down. Uh, put a Fire to G on this Vulpix. And we'll Juniper discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Let's see, what can we find? There's a Life Do. Okay, Devolution Spray. We'll put down Hound Doom, which is pretty much useless right now. Uh, put down this guy. We will Junk Arm to discard one and two to get a laser to at least do some damage this turn. So let's grab a Hypnotic Laser. We'll play that guy. We'll retreat and attack with this Nine Tails, of course. Oh, right, so heads, wait, hold on. We can actually use this guy. Oh my goodness. If we can, if we flip tails, we can actually take a knockout. I mean, if we flip heads, we can take a knockout right now. So fire breath. Tell. Oh my goodness, no. All right, so we'll retreat. If we flip tails, he actually would have been knocked out because we had we had three special conditions on him. So life do the active. We'll go for a hex flame. It'll do 150 damage still. And if this guy stays asleep, he actually gets knocked out. And it's a head, so he does wake up. A hound doom. You're the chosen one, buddy. Oh my goodness. But still, hound doom still great under guard boda luck. As you see, he is a poke of power and not an ability. There's a tool scrapper. Get rid of our life do. Oh no. And a juniper gun discard the hand. Draw seven new guards. Now came up on to finally find an energy or not is a big question. They've only played two so far. All right, so computer search. This will definitely get them some kind of energy for the turn. But we have a Juniper, which is a great one card in our hand. All right, guys. Can we do this or not? It's looking great right now. It looks like we have a really good shot at doing this. So Max Potion, going to heal that active all the way. And then retreat to the Landers, I imagine. Yep, so go retreat to the Landers. Okay. Uh, Prism Energy in the active. And he will Hammerhead for 30. And put 30 damage on this guy is what I see. Yep. All right, so on our turn, what do we get? We get a Burbank City Gem. So will Juniper discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Silver Bangle and a Fire to G. So we'll, oh my goodness, guys. Let's go for this Hound Duke. Come on, Fire Breath. Come on, and it's a Heads. All right, guys. If this is a Heads, we'll put this guy to sleep, and we'll take a knock out of this turn. So hit a Toxic Laser, and come on, and a Heads. Oh my goodness. So now we get Silver Bangle on the active, and we can actually take a knockout with the Hex flame oh my goodness gracious that is amazing with him oh goodness 
All right. <laughs> okay, so take two prize cards. There we go. There goes this guy. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. Okay, so Hypnotized Glazer. Uh, Tails. Okay. A Prism in that guy and a Ant. So we're going out of one card. All right, guys. What can we find with this one? It is one to six right now, currently. All right, so this is a Vulpix. Okay. Here comes Landers. We'll see a Hammer hit. It will, no it will knock us out. So he'll take two. Oh my goodness. He'll take two prize cards this turn. Okay, so there they go. Take two prize cards. There's another one. Poison will knock us out. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send up a Moongus and go for a Houndoom attack. It's going to have four prize cards. Let's send up the Moongus and let's see what's going to happen. On to our turn. What do we get? There's a Hound Door. Okay, so we'll use the Houndoom Fire Breath. And does it confuse it or not? And tells it is not confused this turn. We'll put down Vulpix. We'll put down a Hound Door and we'll just pass on to my opponent's turn. All right, so we need a top deck of the century. I mean, uh, Oak would be great. I actually be fine with the end. Now, Chorus is a great card. That's what we need. So, Mewtwo coming down, okay. An Ultra Ball, go ahead and discard two cards from his hand, and let's see what does our opponent get down. Now, luckily, he, if he plays Catcher, he could bring up a full picks, but he has to hit heads on that as well. He's played one Junk Arm, alright, there's another Guard Border coming down, uh, which we really don't care about too much. As long as we get the Silver, uh, as long as we get the, the fl not the Flutter, the Tool Scriber, we can bump both tools off, okay. So, Prism to the Active. We'll see a hammerhead for 30 and probably hit a Vulpix for 30. There's a flush zone gonna uh, that guy and an oak gonna get a new hand of sex. Alright, guys. Okay, so let's see what's gonna happen. I wish Houndoom would have flipped heads so that we could confuse the landers and make it where it cannot attack us this turn. Um, but we are still I mean still four to one of price cards. An escape rope. Um mm. All right, does he have a laser or not? It's my question. If he has a laser, we're in trouble, right? Do we yellow send a Vulpix? I think the smart play is sending the Fungus. Yeah, so we're actually sending the Fungus. Okay, so we're sending the Fungus. I think the smart play. Now, if he has a laser, he can still knock this guy out, but he's going to knock out this guy regardless. If he has a laser, he can knock out a Houndoom, but we need Houndoom for sure. Like, that's our game plan is to kind of poison him that way. So, Landers will snipe. So Hammerhead, 30, and I imagine 30 damage will go down to a Vulpix. All right. So on our turn, what do we find? We get a, okay, Pichu. Well, I guess we'll go for a Fire Breath to try to... Uh, tails again, all right. So in our turn, on to our opponent's turn, he's going to take two prize cards and go down to two. Oh my goodness. All right, so this is Skyla. Going to search the deck for any trainer card, and what will my opponent get here? All right, so the Junk Arm. Oh my goodness. Now that Fungus gets knocked out, we actually can't not knock out this Landers unless we get another... Heads on home. Oh my goodness, guys. This is looking very scary now. I am very scared. So, Hammerhead for 30. 30, this guy going down to 2. Alright, guys. How do we do this? Hmm. So, I think what we do is set up Amoongus. Yeah, we're going to set up Amoongus. Okay. We need to hit him tank for 2 turns at least. So, on our turn, we get a Fire Energy. Alright, so let's go for the another Fire Breath. Alright, so in our turn, ultra opponent's turn. This is not looking good, guys. I was feeling really confident, and now all of a sudden it's gone downhill. What is going on? Where's our courses? Alright, so next turn, we can maybe get a junk arm. Hypnotastic laser, okay. So he's gonna take a knockout this turn with a hammerhead. So tails. Alright, so there's a land judgment, I mean. Okay, guys. So this is gonna be the top deck of the century. Alright, so poison, whatever. So. How many lasers has he? I mean, he has junk arms for days. All right, so we'll send in Vulpix, and let's see what's going to happen, guys. That's the question. On our turn, we get a, oh my goodness, a nine tails. All right, so we'll go for Houndoom. We'll Fire Breath. Tails, okay. We will put down Pichu. Fire Energy the active. We will retreat into the Pichu. Uh, put down nine tails, and we'll go for Playground, and it's going to depend, does this Pichu stay asleep or not? Because either way, you'll get anybody, everybody's getting knocked out. So, yes. And let's see, what can we find? There's nobody left in the deck to even get. All right, but look, there's there's two courses. There's two, three in, two oak. Oh, my goodness. There's so many cards in here. But can we hit it next turn or not? We'll press done. And does Pichu stay asleep or not is my question, guys. Let's see. Come on, Pichu. Stay asleep, buddy. And tells it does stay asleep. We've done so well flipping tells. Pichu is going to save us. But if he has a... If he has a 
a junk arm and he can grab an escape rope oh my goodness guys we had the game but we just didn't hit anything and this is why in is not a good card i mean he ended down to one and we just didn't have anything oh my goodness and how do what were you doing man you just kind of sit there you flip a bunch of tails we'll sit down do and really opponent take a ton of damage oh my goodness guys what just happened? It was 6-1 to one and my opponent came back with a hammerhead snipe. I guess we need Mr. Mime in this deck. We could, well, I mean, Mr. Mime wouldn't even matter because a Garboder was in play. Oh my goodness, guys. There you go. There's the Nine Tails deck. We were so close that game. And that was a really good game, but man, my opponent ends down to 1 and we just didn't draw anything. As you saw, my deck did have a lot of stuff. But there you go, guys. Hope we enjoyed this episode of Fan Friday. We did see a win and we barely saw a loss. Like 6 to 1, my opponent made the comeback of the century. And I'll give him the props, I guess. Uh, but guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Alrighty. Bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.